hi guys and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. I actually am starting a day late because for some reason I thought that yesterday was Sunday and it was Monday. I think it's a combination of being broad and um, just being what happened yesterday in Manchester threw me off massively. But I just thought I'd leave with it because of the way I'd signed off last week's vlog. Um, I'm just gonna stick with it. We'll start this one on a Tuesday. So still in LA, I've just been on a really long walk because I'm so desperately in love with this place. I'm just kind of scouting out a house I might have, basically. Looking at so much, I'm sure a few millions, you know, set my sights high. Don't compromise for anyone. I mean, there's some night, maybe that we'll just walk past one with a load of animals in, which I'll just pop a clip in now here. Look at this house I'm walking past, guys. It's got like loads of animals. Like, a, like loads, a zebra, an elephant, a giraffe. Can you see the giraffe? What the heck? <laughs> That could be the one for me, I'm not sure. I'm not sure yet, I've not found the one. Anyway, I've just been on a long walk because it's just always nice to have a mooch, make the most of the last of the time here before we fly tonight. Um, but yeah, just having a nice wander around, clearing my head a bit. We don't fly until, oh my god, these houses are massive along here, can you see? We don't fly until quite late tonight, like nine-ish, so we've got time to fit a bit more stuff in. We're gonna get it in and out before we fly and just try and feel chilled about travelling um, and the girls are by the pool at the moment I am so not a sunbather, I can't sit still for more than 10 minutes at a time so um, I, that's hence why I'm out and about and I'm going to walk shot this morning with a photographer um, who's absolutely incredible so I cannot wait to see the stuff that we've got um, that we've done so yeah, all good, I'm so so sad I feel mixed about leaving because I want to get back after what's happened, but I feel so sad to be leaving this incredible place. Never have I ever fell in love with somewhere as much, and I'm desperate to come back like next month. I feel like you just can't wait. It's been amazing for content, amazing for work, so much fun, and amazing. Just an absolutely incredible trip in an amazing place. So, I fully understand why people really fall for this for LA. guys I'm just on my way to go to the gym imminently it is quarter past 10 I've been up since quarter to four with jet lag I've been working since half four oh no so I woke up at quarter to three and got out of bed at half four so I'm sure they'll catch up with me later anyway I'm gonna go to the gym hopefully get some decent vlog content content now for the rest of this week um because i didn't really vlog all yesterday obviously i've got, sort of lost a whole day because of the 11 hour flight then the time difference but the flight was so good we all all three of us slept for like eight hours on that flight so it just went super fast um then i got back here at about eight half eight ish not bad i um, had the most amazing time i've got the worst holiday blues right now because it was the most incredible trip i've literally been sat looking at airbnb thinking when can i next go back because i fell in love with it so badly as i keep saying but it was absolutely amazing and um, anyway um what was i gonna say yeah i'm just about to head out into manchester and i've been reading through all of the comments on last week's vlog where i was talking about how i'm finding vlogging um they were overwhelmingly positive so thank you so so much i'm not planning on stopping them all i just wanted to improve them if i could and um, and you guys all basically said that you kind of loved the mundane aspect of them because it was what life was like so i keep keep doing it week in week out and um, and one of the main bits of feedback was to share me actually going out places and share more of manchester a little bit more which i thought we would do today it's gonna be interesting to walk through the city center i haven't been out since i got back um i believe there's flowers everywhere after the terrorist attack that happened earlier this week so um we thought we'd go out and see what it's like see see what Manchester's looking like. So it's a beautiful day, it's super, super, super hot today. Um, so I need to go and develop my film, which I'm going to have done at Boots, so we're going to go do that. Uh, drop off a parcel to, from ASOS, and then go to the gym for 11. So yeah, we will vlog as we go. And um, I'm so mad, can you tell my brain isn't working today? Basically, I'm feeling a bit more. <laughs> So this is Piccadilly Gardens, which is my personal hell on earth. So I have to walk through here quite often to get down onto Market Street, which is then into town. And I mean, 
it's just it's just nuts around here. You see some things walking through here, and it's one of those places that's busy 24/7. And I just really hate walking through it, really. Um, but it's like a, just a major tram stop, basically. And I had to go through it to get to the post office. guys it's a bit after nine just about to go to bed and try and go to sleep relatively early it's still super light outside to put a little eye mask on and um, yeah to try and get to bed at like a decent time and then hopefully sleep through tonight i literally spent the whole evening I went to the gym came back harry and i shot some stuff which is pretty boring I've just been at my desk all day and then spent the evening on the phone to katie which was very very nice I had a big catch up so I haven't had much to show you today really. Tomorrow's a similar day as well, gym and work. Oh actually that's a big fib because Dot to Dot Festival tomorrow, which is a festival around Manchester and Harry's band's playing at the Whiskey Jar. So I'm gonna go watch them in the evening. Um, it's the weekend, knackered beyond belief for it now. Hopefully I'm gonna fall asleep pretty quickly. I'll be pissed off if I don't, I probably won't, let's be honest. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's another insanely beautiful day in Manchester. Just heading out to work in a cafe. Um, our flat, you know we've got the big windows. In the morning, it's so hot because that's where the sun rises and it just, you can't see your computer screen at all when you sat at the desk. I'm just heading out to a cafe to do some work. Then we're gonna go to the gym at 11. I'm not looking forward to the gym because of how sweaty it was yesterday. And it's equally hot today. Uh, but yes, that's a plan. I'm going to Ezra and Gill and Uncles, which are my favourite ones, and just hopefully have a productive few hours. in from the gym just had a quick freshen up and now i'm um, gonna get ready to go out to dot dot festival for this evening which i'm very excited about but before i do all of that i just wanted to let you know about something that's also very very exciting um a few months not a few months ago maybe maybe a month and a bit ago six weeks i'd guess um, I did a sponsored video with H&M. Harry and I went to the Cotswolds for the day and we filmed a spring lookbook. Well, I'm working with them again next month, which I'm so excited about because I love it so much when I get to work with brands on a recurring basis like this. Um, and this time, the collaboration that we're doing is all about the launch of the new H&M Club, which is a new loyalty and rewards program. You can sign up completely for free by the app, by the website, and you basically get discounts, like discounts on your birthday, um, notification of events. If you sign up now, you get 20% off for the next couple of weeks as well, which is pretty good. Um, and the video that we're gonna be doing involves a competition, which is what I want to tell you all about now. And the competition, this is mad to me that this is something that people would wanna win, but you can win a styling session with yours truly. <laughs> it's on the 15th of June in London. All this information is gonna be in the description box, including the link where you can go and enter as well. And we're gonna be filming the whole thing. We're basically gonna go shopping for a morning, essentially, around one of H&M's stores. And you're gonna get 300 pound voucher to spend as well. So, so exciting. This is on the 15th of June, as I just said. Um, and yeah, I hope that you guys feel excited about it too, because I can't wait. I think it's gonna be such a cool video and something quite different as well to work on. Uh, yeah, all the information, as I just said, is in the description box. And now I'm just gonna do a tiny bit more work before get ready to go out for the evening. Harry's just walking home because 
I'm so tired and jet lagged. It's only like midnight. Hey, bays. Hey, bays. Hey, bays. I need to go to sleep. I'm so tired. It's really tempting to buy some cheesy chips though. Maybe I'm awake enough to have some cheesy chips. But the gig was good. We just watched a couple of other bands, it's which were good. good. Sly, an Sly, uh, Sly Antics, check them out. Sly Antics. Um, Glass, Glass Caves. Caves, check them out. They're good. So we've had a good one. Mine. Just knackered. Woo. Just getting ready, just got back from the gym. But I thought it would very, because I'm going to get ready super quick, and I've currently got a super fast daily makeup routine on the go that I'm very much enjoying, so I thought that I would show you it. Also, I'm obsessed with this hoodie, it's from l and I got it when we were in LA and I'm wearing it pretty relentlessly since. Go away, fringe. Okay, there we go. Right, so, just wash my face and moisturise as usual, and then I'm going to use two concealers. This is my main thing. The first one is my favourite concealer of all time ever in the history of ever, which is the Maybelline, oh, I've flipping taken the label off it, but it's that squishy, twisty uppy one, Maybelline Eye Eraser. No, Maybelline Age Eraser. You know the one I mean. And I literally just take that under my eyes, around my nose, around my chin and down my nose. And I like this because it's very light and just blending it out. And you can really blend it nicely. So then I don't need to really wear any foundation. It just evens out any redness. Um, kind of since being in LA and it being hot, not really been wearing any foundation. And then, if I need a bit more coverage, I go with my NARS, what is this called? Soft Matte Cream Concealer in the shade Light 2 Vanilla, and just go over any blemishes. I'm very, very, very freckly at the moment, because again, I've been away. Um, and sometimes if you cover a blemish up a little bit, it can turn into a freckle. It can look more like a freckle, which is very good. I'm just gonna dab this in a tiny, tiny bit. Not too much. So good this stuff and a little bit really goes a long way. So, done that. Brows. And at the moment, I'm still using sugar. The Revlon Colourstay Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. Finito. Then for brow gel, I always use the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. It's the best one in my opinion. Not that I've tried many, but you know, I found this one and was happy to stick with it basically. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna use some Benefit Hula Bronzer on a big fluffy brush. And I'm, I'm not really contouring, but I'm sort of gonna put it on the places where you would contour, but very roughly. Marvellous. Then for blush, I'm using the Revlon Insta Blush in Rose Gold Kiss. It looks like this. And it's kind of got, it's, I mean, it's super, super sheer. So don't be afraid of being heavy handed. But it's got a bit of a sheen in it. So it just is also a bit highlighty, which I really, really like. And then for actual highlighter, I mean, I tend to use whatever is to hand. My favourite one is NARS Copacabana Illuminator, not the stick one, the one like this. Because again, it's really, it's really light, so it just blends in into nothingness very easily. Okay, nice and subtle. And then, so I do different stuff with my eyes. Today, I'm gonna to use my Tom Ford Thingamabob. So I'm gonna go back in with that NARS concealer and put it all over the lid because this Tom Ford stuff that I'm gonna show you creases like mad. Uh, that's all on there, easy peasy. Just go and get that from the bathroom. It's the Tom Ford Cream Colour for Eyes and Spice. This is like 30 quid or something. It's not worth that much at all. But I've got it, so I'm determined to use it. Um, you definitely need to put some sort of a base on because it creases like crazy. The good thing about it is a little bit goes a long way. So this is probably going to last me for about 25 years, this pot. So I'm just taking a tiny bit on a brush like this. And I'm just going to put it on the lid and then blendy, blendy out. It kind of makes a nice, scruffy, smoky... Eye, but because it's so blendable you can almost blend it down into just a really light wash of colour which is which I like that's what I like 
And then for my mascara, new favourite mascara alert, it's the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. I think that's right. It's a long name. It's just the black one. It's tiny, but the wand is amazing. So I'm going to curl my lashes, put some of this on my top lashes, and then I'm done, apart from lip product today. We'll put that on in a little bit. So for now, I'll just put some eight hour cream on as usual. And all finished. So that's what I've been doing makeup wise most days. It's not very much on my face really, but I do quite like that. And I touch my face so much through the day, the less that I can rub off, the better my makeup looks throughout really, because then it doesn't go patchy because there's nothing to make patchy. Sorry, tell the people what's just happened. Right, um, so I was just sat watching telly and um, I just saw this fucking object fly up to and smash onto the window and immediately shat myself <laughs> and then realised it was a bird, it's like a pigeon or whatever and so I got up and I thought, it's dead basically what it's, dead I don't know what to do me. with it Harry's too scared to go and move it so I right. didn't have to go and move it, honestly I hope people appreciate that I'm a, I can be a bit of a whimperoony around things can like be. that can be, it's a it's just a because pigeon. it's like, yeah but I know that as soon as I pick it up and feel the weight of it I'll get, I, right. I might be upset I'll do it, I'm not having you cry over a pigeon Oh, uh, but it's literally, like I thought it was going to be knocked out, but it's literally just flown to its death. <laughs> and the only reason it's died is because of me. Don't worry, or because of you. us, like, that flat. Oh, yeah, that's so sad. Like, it's, no, it's not that sad. We've put something in its way when it wouldn't have been in its way. Oh, God, you can't fit like this. Right, we're just going to go shoot thing. an outfit. We've had brunch, Harry's hungover. I'm not, didn't sleep well at all. I ended up sleeping on the sofa because somebody would have would not move from the middle of the bed. Literally wouldn't move. I moved him so could have just times. slept on top of me. No, it was too hot. So I've just literally slept on the sofa last time. Dead pigeons here. I won't show you. But Harry wants to hold it a funeral. What do you want me to do with it? What's the pr procedure for this sort of thing? I don't know what you do with dead pigeons. Like, like, you can't leave bin. it there. Maybe you put it in the bin. I know, and the problem is, this is how horrible it is. It's gone really, it's like gone really different colour now, but, but, but um, if it had come into your house, or like if we didn't have a balcony, it'd be fine, because it'd just sort of be on the street. But now it's there, and it's our problem now. And it's like, fuck. Uh, I can't believe it managed to kill itself by flying into the window. Have we got like a big pigeon shit no, I've looked. thing on the window? It must have literally just like broken its neck straight away. Bounced. How did it not see the, you know? Yeah, but I thought they were smart. Pigeons? Yeah. Oh, some of them are homing pigeons, but maybe this, maybe this, maybe it was, maybe it thought that this was its home. God, I'm sweaty. So I've come home to see Percy, obviously nothing to do with my mum, just Percy. And he does this thing. What? <laughs> Not me. Just Percy. <laughs> and he does this thing where it's, he his favourite food is chicken and it's to the point where you can't say the word chicken out loud especially if mum says it because he goes nuts but it's now time for him to have some chicken so we're gonna film how crazy he goes let's coax him out of here though so he he normally leads her into the kitchen Percy we want him to do it from in here so that he, we can see how he comes through a second just you just sit there Oh, he's just gone behind the sofa. Oh. Right, are you going to say the magic word? Pussy? He's there. Pussy, do you want some chicken? Pussy, do you want chicken? Chicken, come on then. Do you not need any navy? Oh, Percy, after all that, this is such an anti climax to what you normally do. He doesn't like you 
does like me. What did you say? Well, I'm just trying to get his chicken. He's not convinced. He is. He's fine. Can I put it down for him so I get the brownie points? <laughs> got it. Who's got the chicken? Hmm? Oh, he always just wants to play with the thing on the camera. Hurry up with the chicken, Anne. We've got to. I wish I could feel his pain. Like an angel service services crap here, Percy. He doesn't think that. Do you baby? It's good. It's anticipation. It's all in your Oh, jeez. Is that enough? Just a little more salt? Okay, I'll take it for him. I'll give you a bit of chicken leg because he oh. does love the chicken legs. As if he has favourite parts of a chicken. <laughs> He's not a person. <laughs> okay, Pears, what have I got? Yes. <laughs> chicken time. No. Oh, he loves the chicken. Um, yeah, I'll have my chicken as well, please. I had to dispose of the pigeon earlier because Harry wouldn't do it. It was quite sad, actually. But Harry said that he thought that he was gonna be sick or and or cry. <laughs> Mum laughed when I told her that the pigeon died. Oh, it's not funny. We shouldn't laugh. It's horrible. I don't like a bit funny. No. No, but still. Hi guys, and happy Sunday. Been working this morning. Just on my way out to Salt's Mill to see Emma to go for some lunch, which should be very lovely. Just realised I've missed out on some Percy footage. I know we did it yesterday, but I don't know where the heck he's gone. I think he's been outside. Percy! Oh, here he is. Mum had a gas leak, hence this being here. What do you think about that purse? Look at those eyes when you're outside. So handsome. I've got my Aqua Zero Pom Pom sandals on that I wear every summer. The first outing for this summer. Oh, I don't want the book, thank you. Have I got everything? Yes, Did you just check everywhere for me? Thank you. Okay. How long are you planning on keeping this new garden furniture for? <laughs> Do they come back and take it? Oh, I like the accoutrement. Yeah, I know, he suits it. It matches his eyes. Bye, Puss. Will you miss me? He really is not sure about these shoes. Ooh. Ooh. Bye. Why does he not say bye back? He's a rubbish cat. He's not <laughs> Hi guys, I'm at home, I've just had a shower, I'm about to get into bed. I cleaned the flat, insert montage here. vlog I think that I haven't put in this vlog the stylist magazine I know I put it on Instagram stories which remember a while ago I did a shoot with stylist magazine and collect plus well I have it here 
so exciting. I absolutely love how it looks as well. Give me a second to find it. Also, this week I've not stopped listening to Paramore's new album. So good. Here I am. Let's bring me into the light a bit. Hmm. This is it. I absolutely love the photos. All about capsule wardrobe, what to take when you go away. Um, there's a blog post about it and there's a video, it's all behind the scenes video, which is all very, very, very cool and very exciting. It's so weird seeing yourself in a magazine, honestly. But I love the images so much. So, that was in Stylist magazine. On my own tonight because Harry's um, been at a festival. They played a festival and they stayed over, so on my own and I'm just about to go to bed. It's bank holiday weekend actually so I'm going to Chesterfield tomorrow with all of Harry's friends which will be lovely. But for now, I'm gonna go to bed. Whoa, that light made me look so red. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. Hope you have enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, I'll never do a kiss, I'll normally do a wave.